nice to be with you again. Um, uh, this, this evening, I listen to what it is, I can't have get things mixed up. It's like they are there to take away 
our joy. Yeah. Eh? And, and, and if, to take away our joy and to take away our, our, our lives, it's like life becomes so much boring if all these commandments are around you. It's either, it's either they give you a protection if you are within them. If you get out of the commandment, this, listen, if, if you jump out of the commandment, there's, there's no hand of God that can protect you. Let me say it again. God has designed his commandment to give us the maximum peace and security. If you choose, if you look at the commandment and see nothing but restrictions, are we there? Yes. Okay. Can we hit it there? Hit it. Okay. You don't want to hear the sound anyway, but just watch what is happening. The title of the, the, the cake is Man is Stealing Lion's Ring. See how close they are to the lion. Walking straight to the light.
the Fiasov there, men were taking a serious risk here. But there was a law they understood. Are you with me? Yeah. Now these guys, after sporting the, the line, enjoying their care, if you notice, first they hid themselves somewhere, out of sight of the light. At the same time, not one after another, at the same time, they, three of them stood up. At the same time, they started walking straight to the light. And when the lion saw them, in their minds they said to themselves, these guys, they are bigger than us. We fear nothing here. But if they, fear, they, if they don't fear us, it means they are, they are more powerful than us. Then they decided to run away. But let me tell you, it was all just a bluff. But the only thing these guys mustered they started the light. Listen, if by any chance they stopped walking and hesitated, they would have been gone. But by moving straight in a very dangerous zone, all three of them were very safe because they understood the laws of nature. Now the moral lesson is here. If you and I are in this world that is upside down, if we understand not only the laws of nature, but the laws of God, come what may, we will make it through. But once you blunder, it's not the laws that will suffer, but it's you that will suffer. Let me tell you, there is no way you can break God's commandment. Nothing. You cannot break it. Down. But if you try to break it, down, they break you. Yeah. Now, once you understand this, you're all young enough here to be my parents and my boys. If you understand this very well, what God intended, God's original plan, about his ten, ten commandment. It was not to take our joy away, but it was to secure our joy. Yes, sir. But if you if you don't want to cooperate with the commandment of God, it's not the commandment that will suffer, but it's you. You cannot break it down. They will break you. Now listen to this verse that we read before. Deuteronomy 28. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord. Listen to this verse. Diligently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe how carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations. The commandment, in other words, they set us aside. They make us different. Young people, if, listen, now God says, I'll set you above all other nations. They, they somehow bring some, some element of uniqueness around you. That they make you special, they don't make you cheap. Yeah. Are you with me? Listen, they are not designed to take away our joy and our peace. But they are designed to secure us. But if you diligently move away, purposely move out of this edge, God can do nothing to protect you. Because He has designed that this law will do what? Will protect you. Let me share one thing before we just look at each and every one of them. I have, I have a friend, a close friend, and this guy was working for Westwood Prison. A close friend, a pastor in another denomination, a close friend of mine. I remember, not in the same church, I remember when he wanted to get married. He left hundreds of his pastors a 
and said, my friend, I want you to marry me. And I was there all the way. Somehow, after the wonderful day, somehow my friend, I don't know for what good reason, one of these commandments he disregarded. Can I be brave to tell you mm -hmm. that I don't have my friend today? By breaking that one commandment, he shortened up his life. Oh, it's unfortunate that at a distance, you may think you can bypass or short circuit the commandment and you can still get away with it. Mm -hmm. If someone managed and escaped, don't think whether you do the same. The majority did not make it, may make it through. So this commandment, listen to this, to this what God is saying, hmm? will set you high above all nations of the earth. God is saying, if you abide by this commandment, you will be special. You will be above everything. You will be somehow very unique. You will not be common like people around you. Listen to the one, verse 2. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Yes, sir. Because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Are you? Listen, if ever I choose, you know, if you if you remain within the commandment, you are saying, Lord, you are too clever for me. You take care of my life. You know, you know me better than I know myself. You also know the needs of my needs more than I know my needs. Are you there? But if then you get out, you are saying, God, you are too slow for me. You don't know what I need. Let me, if, if you get out of the commandment, you are saying, God, let me take care of my life. I'm wiser than you. I'm, you are too slow for me. Was it small who came up with this slogan? Don't fool yourself. See kids. Young people, don't fool yourself. Getting outside of the commandment of God in kids. But remaining within, who gets who gets protected? It's you, it's me. Mm -hmm. But you jump out because because you just want the best job for yourself by doing so. You are not really making yourself happy, but you are making yourself unhappy. One person said to me, I was reading this book, I can't remember the author. The guy was saying, if you really want true happiness, don't look for happiness and joy outside of Jesus. Look for peace and joy inside Jesus. Yeah. Now some of us, our, our happiness, when you are happy, you have to minus Christ, then you are happy. In the presence of Christ, life is boring. But at the end, what, what, one thing I've learned in life, we all want the best of it. We all want to enjoy every bit of it. But you know what? As you, you need to be careful. Life has been around long before even your grand grandfather were around. <laughs> you need to be careful. So that while you are enjoying life, life is not the one enjoying you. You. While you are enjoying life, before you say I'll finish it, who gets finished first? It's me. There are many people who were enjoying themselves with life, but they got finished up by life. It's either you decide that I want to enjoy life, not life to enjoy me. And God, listen to what God is saying. And all these blessings shall come upon you. Listen. And they will overtake you. What does God say? In other, in other words, all around you will be what? Blessings. Yes, sir. Even, in other words, even before you get it there, the blessings will be there again. And listen to this one again. Because you obey the voice of who? Of the Lord. This is 
what, what, what God does all the time. You know, when you compare life with God, it's like this life is too slow for me. Let me not say it's life that is true. It's like God is too slow for me. Listen, if God is slow for you, if you, if you really love yourself, take, take the pace of God, not your own pace. If, if, if you are ahead of God, he cannot protect you. But God says, man, the blessings will be all around you. Let me share this passage again before we take each one, each, 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 each commandment quickly down there. Psalm 19, verse 7 to 8. We want Psalm 19. We want to read all of these powerful verses that tell us something about the law of God. Remember one thing? The law. The law does not save us. But without the law too, we cannot be saved. Did I say Psalm 19? Yes. 70 years. Can someone read that one for us? Psalm 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The stations of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise and mm. simple. Ah. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The command of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much more, than much more, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is the servant warned, in keeping them there is a great reward. Oh. What else can I say when the Bible has spoken? Mm -hmm. In other words, there is nothing that your soul will ever desire that the commandment of God will not provide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything that your soul, if, listen, even that which you don't know you need, God is ready to only if you remain well. Let, let, let's just quickly, uh, I won't take much of your time, let's just let's, let's, let's visit Exodus 20. <coughs> now, we call these ten commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten. Why not nine? Why not eleven? Why ten? Ten is God's minimum requirement. I will. This is the standard, the lowest standard that God can 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 can, can take. Or you remember, you remember when 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 um, two angels visited um, Abraham when they came and without with 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 him. A short space of time, they prepared a lamb. It was killed, skinned, and they, they cooked it just for these two angels. And they did not know that they were saving the angels. I but on their way out, by the way, they first left the blessing. Mm -hmm. As they were discussing, one of these men said to him, by this time, yeah, next year by this time, your wife will get the new time. And Sarah was busy somewhere. She overheard the conversation. And to her it was, that is sin. At my age, I've gone beyond the age where I can bear a child. It is now impossible. Are you with me? So she, she laughed. And the man also overheard Sarah laughing. And, 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 and the man asked, what are you laughing? And Sarah had to laugh. I'm just laughing to myself. When the child was born, the child was, was called laughter. 
Hai sạch mềm quá In other words, they laughed when they heard the story. And again, when, when it came to pass, again they said, Whoa, what the court is. Then they was laughed again. Now, I'm not there. Now, as these men were making their way out, one man remained behind and somehow shared with Abraham the mission of the tree. We are on our way to Sodom to destroy Sodom. And Abraham, knowing that he has relatives there, he said, if you find 60, will you destroy? What was the answer? No. If you find 50, the answer was no. If you find 30, the answer was no. If you find 20, the answer was no. If you find 10, the answer was no. Abraham did not go below 10 because 10 is the standard. So, so, so in the mind of God, in the culture that we live in, number 10 is completeness. Number 10 is a symbol of perfection. It's a symbol of the minimum requirement. That's why we have 10 commandments. Are you with me? Now listen to this one. Now the first one, we did, we did say something on this one yesterday. Ah, before I read. By the way, if you happen to be too much conscious of, of the, 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 the commandment of God, you know, the, the, the passage we were reading, it says, they make you wise. Yeah. But you know, if, if you walk by this commandment, do you know how the world look at, at you? It's like, man, you are not quite complete. It's the other way around. The world look for people who understand the language, the life, who live like anybody else. But if you are so unique, yeah. it's like you are too much of a fool. On one side, God is, God is saying you are too clever. Mm -hmm. Let's be careful. If the world cheer us, it might be that we look more like the world. But if the world looks at us with that wonder, it might be that we are too close to God. Listen to this one. Exodus 20. I did mention something yesterday about this. Verse 2. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is God saying? I am who? The Lord your God. I am. I'm saying this because I, in other words, God is not talk, He's not giving the commandment to anybody but his people. You have to know God to know his commandment. If you don't have a relationship with God, there's no way you can abide by his commandment. Alright? Then, verse 3. Ah, 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 ah. Before we read verse 3. Okay. Hmm? I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of Bolivar. In other words, the commandments are for people who have been delivered. And they put in front of them a 
and they worship this thing. That is too. That is. That is outdated. outdated. Mm -hmm. Our idols today are not tangible, are not visible. Our idols today, we don't keep them somewhere where we just visit them when we need to visit, to worship. Our idols today, we take them everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. Listen, anything that you love more than you love God is an idol. Yeah, man. Can I come closer? Yes, sir. Anything that, that has the tendency of, of, of making you do what is against God? That is your God. Anything that you love more than you love your God. <laughs> Let me say, somebody says, man, six o'clock or nine o'clock to two o'clock is my appointment with God. Then another offer comes. I know that I have a covenant with God. Between this, on this day, between this hour to this hour, I do nothing else is me and my God. Then something else comes. Which forces me not to be there for God when God is there for me. In other words, I say, God, there is something that is more important than you that has come to my life. For a while, let me leave you, I'll see you when I'm done with this. That is what? That's your God. That's your God. Mm -hmm. Now our, our idols, we don't, we don't keep them somewhere in the same place, but we take them anywhere. Do you know that you can be your own God? You can love yourself more than you love God. Good. And in other words, you are what? Your own God. Young people, we can mention anything that makes me go against the will of God. It means that thing is more than, it, 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 somehow, it, it's more than God to me. Or, what verse was it? Okay. You shall not make for yourself a calf image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven. Above or that is in, in, in earth beneath. Before I read, I finish this one. Somewhere, I think it's Matthew 22, where Jesus says, Love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. What is left out here? Nothing. Love your God with what? With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Listen, let me tell you. The only thing that will make you obey God's will is one thing. When you love Him with all your mind, with all your heart, if the whole of you is into God. Yes, sir. But if there is a peace that has not been surrendered, forget it. For you, can I share this one? You know it. Here, here is Jacob and uh, 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 Joseph. A young man, I, 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 I'm sure he was, it was nice, you know, just to spend time looking at him, he was handsome, I believe. He led a, he led a Hebrew, are you mm -hmm. where no one knew what a Hebrew is. You are just the only one of its kind. And you are here by default. You did not plan to be here, are you? And all of a sudden, you are given a, a very special job. You are part of it, the king's house. Yeah? And somehow, you know the story, that somehow the wife of the king somehow loved the young man. But when she started making some moves, there's one thing that I love, what Joseph said. If I were him, I would have said, how can I do this against my king? Are you? But Joseph said, how can I do this against my God? Mm. In other words, listen, Joseph could have done it. No one would have known it. But one thing that Joseph knew, God is here. Yes, I love him so much, more than I love what this woman wants me to do. Mm. And the young man decided, while most of us 
out of nothing ran away. But this young man ran away. Power. Power. <laughs> now, run away physically. Mm -hmm. Why? In other words, Joseph is saying, man, I love this God so much that he's so much visible in everything that I do. A circle away from him, I cannot tolerate it. And he decided, let me rather do what? Run. And I'm sure as he was making his way away behind the woman, I've never seen a foolish boy like this one. Are you? Because of the fear that the young man is going to tell the world. The woman started doing what? Making up the story. Unfortunately, when Joseph read, he left what? He's called behind. Thank God he left his coat behind, but his body was with him. Yeah. Some of us, when we run, our coat is with us, but our body is no longer with us. Yeah. We leave behind our peace. So that anywhere somebody will say, I always have a piece of you. Yeah. But the young man said, Yes. I have everything to enjoy, but I cannot allow that to, to, to deprive me of my joy with my God. He ran. Are you? Can, 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 can you believe this? When Joseph was put behind bars, now, when the wife was put there and Joseph gave his story, you know what extra biblical material said? Let me tell you, Joseph was put behind their bars. Not because. What, what Joseph was said to have done should have taken his life out. Yes. I know. Mm. Why was he not killed? It's because Pharaoh did not believe his own wife. Yeah. Yeah. When, 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 when Joseph spoke and said, I am innocent, yes, sir. Joseph believed the young man. Are you with me? Yeah. Why? It's because the young man walked with God above all of this world. But yeah. at times I remember that you give me one five four five minutes a night. I remember one time I was I was in a train from you know growing up with me was, was not an easy thing. Are you think? <coughs> yeah. Some of you are so fortunate to have a father and a mother who takes care of your pocket money and, and who takes care of your, your fees. I didn't have that 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 last time. I remember one time I was in the train, and uh, from Shatter's Court to Devon, any train, a man walked in wearing a jersey and carrying a, a, a big pasta which was full of dark. And she took the thing on top of my head, put his dark and put his jersey, and then the man walked about 10, 20 meters and sat far away from his thing, so that there will be nothing that connects him with his thing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Few, few minutes later, policemen walked in about five cars. They were just doing their routine check. They looked at the, 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 the person and the jersey, and they were checking everything, and they checked the person and discovered there was that in there. Listen, the thing is above my head. Do you know that instead of asking me, whose thing is this? Everybody was asked, whose bag is this? Nobody claimed it. Guess what? No one suspected me, though the thing was right on top of my head. What no one. There was an Indian lady sitting far away there, and she stood up and said, I saw the man who came in with that thing. That is the man. Pointed at the man far away, and then took the jersey. And said, Can you fit this chest? Man, the man tried the chest, it was his chest. <laughs> Listen, no matter what they may say about you, let it not fit you. Let it not look like you. Some of us, even if we are innocent, you have learned that you are innocent, but whatever they say, man, it just fits you. Hey! Because you just look like it. Because you are just common, too common to look like everything. You are not unique. You are not so special that the Lord has put you apart. Every other young people because you obey his commandments. 
that man did not sleep at his house. <laughs> you know where he ended up. But that was safe. And one incident again that reminds I don't know whether now in this age, I'm in my now, I don't know whether people see God the way they saw God when I was at your age. I remember still in the train. One lady came with 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 pockets, big pocket of of, of clothes and this side, she was healthily led. She looked for the seat that I had no seat. And she found the seat so far away and she said, Boy, can I leave these things of mine? Guess what? I had no food in my house. <laughs> I kept all the way from Devon to Nasi, the closer that I needed was all around me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to jump off before the lady jumped off. When I got to my to my to my to my to my station, to my uh, to my stop, to my destination, I took both passengers and I was looking for the lady all over. When I found her, I said, Mama, here are your things. You know what she said? My boy, when I left my things with you, I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. All right, then. I could have left with the things, she would have known, known, known nothing, but some, she saw something mm -hmm. that I could not see about myself. Mm -hmm. All I'm trying, allow the commandment to make you special. Allow, allow the commandment of God. By the way, the Sharapan Karami, some of us young people, we love God, but at the same time, we love His well. You, be, you, you end up torn between. Huh? I love Him. Oh, but I love this thing again. Listen, if, if, if your love for God is equal to the love you have for these things, you live a dumb life. But if your love if your mind, the, the whole of your mind, whole of your heart is into God, other stuff will find no space in your heart. Amen. You will have a problem, Dana, if you love God and love uh, The love of God must make you detest, hate the things that God hates. Let me finish this one. Allow me not to say much, huh? Okay. Verse 1. You shall not bow down with cover that there. Eh? Verse 6, but showing mercy. Okay, verse, verse 7. That is the, the, the commandment number 3. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Don't take his name in what? <laughs> that commandment is still valid up to today. Young people, when I grew up, it was hard for me. My, my girls today. They, they call my name anyhow. When they like or say, um, uh, my, my big girl. But the young one, no, she never calls me by my name. But the young one will say, hey, preach, can we go out today? <laughs> but when she says so, I know what she, she means. You get my point? If it's just the two of us, if she wants to make me, you know, really feel that I'm, 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 I'm the dead around. I live in, I grew up and my mom each time my, my mom each time I asked her, what is my dad's name? We are so fortunate today. We know the names of our moms, the names of the people when we grew up. Man, if you happen to know your father's name, yeah. you will never mention that name. In other words, what the name, what your father is, that's what his name is. That's what his name is. If, 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 if if you respect the name, it's not just the name, it's the person of the name. If, if I know and love my God, I won't just call the name of Jesus in faith. The Bible doesn't say, let us not call his name, but let's, let's do so in reverence and for the purpose. It, 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 it hurts me when I hear people, um, when they lay around our way Jesu. You know, it is like this name to them. It's it's very nice. Okay, let's take care of the name. Okay, can we run then then verse 8? Remember this power thing. To keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. Can I say something on this one? I, I, I love I love what the Roman Catholic Church uh, uh, has said 
on this commandment. I, I love it. No one ever put it the way they put it. They say, when you rest, you don't have to rest because it is, it, you have to rest. You, no, what I'm trying to, you don't rest because there's nothing else that you can do. You don't rest because there's no work to do. Are you with me? But you said this is their appointment with God. People have to work hard in order to make their life better. The harder you work, the better your life becomes. But the Roman Catholic Church said, man, when you, when, when you keep the Sabbath, you are saying, I cannot live by work alone. I can live by God as well. Yeah. In other words, the needs of this life are not above the need that the spiritual man has. I was thinking, in other words, you are, you are so, you are, it, it, it's, a, it's a revolt, it's a rebellion against the means of life. You are saying, I don't have to work in order to, to live. I need God more than I'm my work. God is saying, while you work, have an appointment with Him, where everything is put aside and it's off. Young people, when you have an appointment with somebody, 10 o'clock, and you get there on the spot, and the person is not there on the spot, you young people, you know better than I do what for this. <laughs> An appointment, if somebody breaks the appointment, he breaks your heart. But God, the almighty God, says, can I have an appointment, a date with you? So that it, it's just you with and me. No books, no work, nothing else. It's just you and me. And we have the best time. Guess what? When we do so, it's like taking your garage for a service. It's like taking your garage to refill your tank. Are you? When you come out from that appointment, you are better than what you were before. We need God more than we need. If God can set the 24 hours once a week, that's for you and Him, so that you can enjoy life. Guess what? Let's end here. We'll finish up tomorrow. Guess what? There are people when they wake up in the morning, it's rash one way. Are you? You know, the only time they offer prayer. It's when they have a piece of bread in front of them and people go out and say, Amen, then they eat. <laughs> and another time when they have a little bit of God is when they, they just jump into their bed. You protected me the whole day, now can you be with me as I, I, I sleep? Those are the only times when a person, but we have no time. And if, if I happen to go to church an hour, it's enough because church is boring. <laughs> Have time with your God because he, he wants to have time. Are you with me? That was the fourth commandment. Connecting a man with God. Then the rest of six, six they connect a man with men. Can I say this? Most people who are dead today would have still been alive if they had obeyed God's commandment. One commandment that I never understood until yesterday. If I say yesterday, I'm saying recently. Mm -hmm. When God said, thou shalt not commit that, that, I never quite understood that. But with all the killer diseases that are around, I say the Almighty God, far before these diseases came up, he put a hedge around. Watch out. Mm -hmm. How many people who wanted just to entertain themselves, who wanted to, 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 to act, who wanted the best of it, but while they were enjoying themselves, they were taking maybe 60, 70, 80 years that God was going to bless with them and shorten up that with, with just three minutes. You take the whole hundred years you make it as short as three minutes. Are you with me? Whatever God says, it's not to harm you, but to prosper. 
may we look at our God and say, what a wonderful God who loves us and who wish the best for our lives. May we be our, the young people who will walk with God when the rest are doing their own thing in this world. I wish I had an opportunity to take you with me to Wesley Prison and see beautiful girls of your age. Guess what? Thank God I remember them. It's the last one. There's, in Wesley Prison section, there's a section where uh, people who have been sentenced, they don't mix the unsentenced with waiting trial and those who are working sentenced. They say these ones, they are too experienced. Then they will spoil this one. So they keep the two apart. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Then one day I came in, then they put me with the, the, the waiting trial. Guess what? While I was opening my bowels, <laughs> girls of your age, I, 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 I became like a fool. But our food was such a In their life, in their makeup, there's no space for God. My prayer, may you have too much space of God in your life. So that you may prosper in life. May God bless you. May we meet again tomorrow, same time. Amen. I have my wife with me today. Hallelujah this morning. Amen. <laughs>